Since Halloween is just around the corner, many of you are thinking about candy and which ones to choose from. We're seeing more and more brands advertise on cane sugar. More natural, more pure, real, and better for you. Okay, let's settle this once and for all. Is high fructose corn syrup worse for your teeth than cane sugar? Or are our teeth just mad at all sugars equally? Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Chris Michelle. I'm a registered dental hygienist and eBurst ambassador, and you're watching Burst TV. <sighs> Quick reminder, we're only talking about oral health. We're not talking about weight. We're not talking about blood sugar or overall diet. This is just what happens in the mouth and how it affects your risk for dental problems. Okay, here's the science made simple. Sugar doesn't directly drill holes in your teeth. It starts with the bacteria that naturally live in your mouth. When you're eating or drinking something sugary, they feed on it and they break down. And while they're digesting, they start to release acids. Those acids sit on your teeth and start dissolving the enamel. That is the protective shell on our teeth. Over time, repeated acid attacks weaken the enamel and form cavities. So sugar is more like fuel for bacteria. Without sugar, the bacteria cannot make as much acid, and without acid, you don't get decay. So it's not sugar alone. It's sugar plus bacteria plus time. Back to our big question, does our teeth care whether sugar is coming from corn or from cane sugar? The answer is no. To your enamel, sugar is sugar. Both high fructose corn syrup and cane sugar provide the same food source for cavity producing bacteria like Streptococcus mutans. I promise you they do not check labels. When they see sugar, they think party time. In fact, cane sugar typically takes longer to dissolve than high fructose corn syrup. This is because cane sugar is a disaccharide, meaning it is composed of two sugar molecules that are bonded together. And that bond needs to be broken down before it can dissolve. High fructose corn syrup, on the other hand, are a mixture of monosaccharides, which are simpler sugar, so they can dissolve more readily. So this could potentially increase the contact time on your teeth in a candy that shouldn't be in your mouth for very long. Here's the kicker though, it's not how much sugar you're eating or drinking, it's how often you are exposing your teeth to it. If you sip on a sweet drink for hours, your teeth are under a constant acid attack. But if you drink all at once and rinse with water, your teeth are exposed for less time. Same sugar, totally different impact. So what can you do to reduce the effects of sugar on your teeth? Limit frequency of sugary drinks and snacks. Give your teeth a break between exposures. Drink water after sugar. It helps to rinse away any leftover sugars and acids. In fact, swish with water kind of aggressively. I promise you, your mouth will feel so much better. And especially if you don't have a toothbrush nearby, rinsing aggressively is going to really help reset your mouth. Speaking of brushing, brush twice a day with fluoride toothpaste. Fluoride helps strengthen the enamel against acids. Probably haven't heard this one, but floss daily. Cavities love to form in between the teeth where your brush can't reach. Chew sugar-free gum. It boosts saliva, which is your mouth's natural defense against acids. And of course, see your dental team regularly. They can spot early signs of decay before it becomes a big problem. So the bottom line is high fructose corn syrup nor cane sugar is better for your teeth. When it comes to cavities, enamel does not have favorites. Sugar is sugar. But the good news is with smart habits, you can enjoy the treats and have a healthy smile. Remember, sugar plus bacteria plus time equals cavities. Change the equation and you can protect your teeth. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you learned something new, drop a comment to let us know what your go-to trick is on cutting back on sugar or protecting your teeth after snacks. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips to keep your smile healthy.